Russian security officer Igor Strelkov Girkin, who stood at the origins of the Russian war against Ukraine, called on Russians to prepare for a catastrophe in 2025. In the current situation, he blames the Putin regime and its imitation leadership style, when on paper everything is fine for the Russian Federation, but in reality, it is a disaster. A significant part of our power turned out to be inflated, and now the needs of the war far exceed the capabilities of our military-industrial complex, and the war has long since eaten up or is eating up all reserves of new weapons, the Russian security officer reported. He also mentioned the disaster with the manpower that the army command is destroying at a rapid pace in Ukraine. He does not share the joy of Kremlin propaganda regarding the advance of the Russian armed forces in Donbass. He claims that there is no collapse of the Ukrainian defense in reality. The letter from Strelkov, who is in prison, was published by his associates. According to him, Russia is not capable of winning a decisive victory in the war today and therefore is trying to persuade Kyiv to capitulate. Not very successfully. The advance of the Russian armed forces in Donbass will not force Kyiv to capitulate to the aggressor since this is supposedly a secondary front for the Ukrainian side. Very insignificant successes of the Russian army in the Donbass on a strategic scale are tended to be presented by our propaganda as a collapse of the front of the Ukrainian armed forces, Strelkov wrote. At the same time, Z Patriot noted, the Kremlin propagandists ignore the fact that the Russian Federation has no successes in the Kharkov and Kursk directions, and at this time, Ukraine is delivering precise and very painful blows to the Russian rear. The enemy has and is saving reserves. Therefore, talking about the imminent collapse of its front due to the loss of several cities and urban-type settlements in the DPR is simply stupid. The enemy has been holding a regional center, the city of Sudza in the Kursk region, on the territory of the old regions for three months, and the Russian armed forces can do nothing about it. So why expect that the Ukrainians will agree to a ceasefire on terms favorable to Moscow? Strelkov wrote. He noted that the front remains in a stable state, which is costing the Russian army enormous losses in manpower and resources. The Czechist expressed confidence that if the situation worsens for the Ukrainian armed forces, the Allies will help Ukraine to level the playing field, in particular with the help of new technological solutions. Another conflict has broken out in the Russian Federation between the Chechen leadership and the Federal Center and other Russian regions. The Chechen authorities did not like the ban on wearing hijabs and niqabs in schools introduced in the Vladimir region. In particular, Ramzan Kadyrov's right-hand State Duma deputy Adam Delimkanov expressed his indignation calling the ban introduced in the Vladimir region discrimination and a violation of the Constitution. Dialogue reports. The press service of the Regional Ministry of Education in turn indicated that the Russian Federation is a secular state in which the church is separated from the state. Several Z bloggers responded to the indignation of Delim Kanov and other representatives of the Chechen authorities demanding that the Chechen leadership not interfere in the affairs of other regions. Moreover, this is not the first time that the opinion about the inevitability of a third Chechen war has been voiced. This time, this point of view was voiced by the author of the Alex Parker Returns channel. The Two Majors Z channel writes that the state forming people in the Russian Federation are not yet Chechen and ridicules the countless awards that the Chechen leadership presents to Kadyrov's son, Adam. Z mill blogger Yuri Kotenok demands that the authorities of the Vladimir region and the federal center under no circumstances bend, otherwise it will come back to bite you. In turn, Z blogger Roman Saponkov believes that the attacks on the Chechen authorities indicate the weakness of the federal center during the war. Meanwhile, the traitor of Ukraine, collaborator Oleg Sarev, writes that Chechnya is part of Russia and not vice versa. Let us recall that some analysts believe that Kadyrov sensing the weakening of the federal center is actively preparing for the future collapse of the country. Chechnya is gathering vassals around itself. The reason, by the way, is quite objective. 
If mainland Russia nevertheless falls into a catastrophe and begins a phase of transition back to the wildness of the Middle Ages, then on its territory a specific demarcation will very quickly begin to form. And then large conglomerates will be measured, as in the Middle Ages, by the quantity and quality of their suzerain vassal systems, says the famous Russian analyst Anatoly Nesmian. He warned that Moscow's attempt to bring the situation back into the legal framework and take control of Chechnya would lead to disaster. In that case, Moscow would probably start a third war with the Republic. Two phases of development cannot coexist on the same territory, so a new conflict will inevitably break out between Chechnya and Russia, the expert emphasized.